Let's go explore Malos, the perfect place to swim with manta rays and Maldives. This is Malos, one of the most beautiful local islands. It's relatively new to local tourism, so it's really, really gorgeous. So I've had my coconut. Let's go see the room. Maldives isn't like any other country. It requires careful planning, especially if you're going to the local islands. So I would definitely recommend you check out my Maldives guide and how to plan your Maldives holiday videos. The link is above. So this is located in Baatol near the UNESCO World Biosphere Protected Area. And there's tons to do here. The island is quite small as usual with Maldives and it's barely a kilometer long. But it's really, really interesting. So there's tons to do here. Some really amazing, epic things. So I'll show you around and let's see what we can do. If you haven't already, do check out my Maldives video because it will help you massively with planning a perfect trip. Good morning, it's my first day in Malos and we are going for scuba diving. This is a spot to come if you want to go diving or if you want to learn swimming or they also have yoga retreats and massage and whatnot. So I'll give the links. You can check that in the description and let's go have some fun underwater. It's really hot by the way. Don't forget to bring your insect repellent, a lot of sunscreen. It's crazy here, honestly, especially insect repellent. There's a lot of mosquitoes and they will bite you crazy like they did to me last night. While we prep, we have a friend to play with, but he's sleeping. Malhos has a beautiful bikini beach which is facing right the sunset but I really like this pier because you can see the entire stretch. Just look at that. It's on fire! Honestly, look at that! Wow. Doesn't this look kind of like a film poster where everything's going to shit in the background? This place is gorgeous, honestly, beyond belief. Food in Malos is quite simple and absolutely delicious. There is only one cafe which is located right next to the pier and they do some amazing, amazing food. And another great idea is to basically speak to your guest house and arrange someone local so you can go in their house and eat the local food with them. I unfortunately couldn't do it because of COVID, but I got the food delivered to me and I absolutely loved it. I left today to explore the island a little bit more, which is really gorgeous. It is fairly small, like most Maldivian islands, but not as small as Fuladu. It's still fairly small. You can walk from one end to the other end in like 
15, 20 minutes. There are only three guest houses so far. I'm staying in Maddie Finalo. The other two are not open. Getting here is a little complicated. You can take the domestic flight to Deravandu and then do a boat transfer. But there's also a ferry uh, which we took my friends and I from Malay. It came to Ida Fushi Island and from there we just took like a small speedboat transfer. It was about $50 one way uh, per person. I really like this island for a few reasons. One, the Hanifaro Bay of course. When the season is right, like the monsoon season, there are tons of manta rays here which I am hoping to see later. There's a bikini beach here as well of course which is right at the perfect spot to see the sunset. There's a, quite a few resorts resorts around here as well if you want to travel there for a day or a spa day or something I can't do that unfortunately at the moment don't forget there are tons of beautiful beaches there I mean the beach outside my guest house is absolutely stunning But the reason I really like this island is because it has a nice little forest at the back. There's a beach that opens up on the other side. This is completely uninhabited. You can just go chill on your own, have fun. I'm gonna just do that and I will show you what else you can do around here. At the end of the jungle, there's a beautiful beach. But well, there's no one at all. So while this is not a bikini beach, I can still take my shirt off, which I'm really happy about. Yay! I always wanted to do yoga on a beautiful beach and this place is just the right amount of serene for that. a beautiful uninhabited island right across from Malos but if you don't want to make the effort you just get to a Maldivian hammock and just chill out. Malos has a beautiful house reef, much better than Folatu or Kamadu that I've seen. There's tons to see here and the best is you can see turtles. I went in the morning today to snorkel. It was the most heartwarming experience because the turtle who say life I saved, I saw him swimming right in front of me. He still had the hook in his mouth, but uh, they will remove it later. But it was just so incredible to see that he was doing so well. And a part of me thinks that he actually recognized me because he didn't really go too far when I tried to get close. But it was just an incredible experience. I also saw an amazing house reef, um, sorry, a reef shark, a black tip and also uh, a bunch of cuttlefish, a huge shoal of parrotfish and tons more. It's just, 
no day in the sea is like the, uh, the one you had before and it will never be like the one you will have next and there's always so much drama going on it's just incredible oh so i'm gonna go take a shower have some breakfast and just you know relax a bit i feel so good it just it just feels really really heartwarming i'm really really proud of myself by the way if you haven't seen the footage you can check it here another must do in malos or any other island in maldives is a sandbank and this one was just absolutely perfect It's really fun to explore the local side of Malas and see how people live here. And the best thing is, it's all made of sand, all the streets, so you can just go bare feet everywhere. I absolutely loved it. A gorgeous day after five days of crazy rain. We're going to Hanifaro Bay to potentially see some manta rays. My friend spotted the first whale shark of the season. So I'm really happy and excited. It's my last couple of days here and I really hope they are as amazing as the rest of the trip. So let's see if we get to see some. Let's go. I usually say this place is incredible or gorgeous or this experience is amazing. This is out of this world, honestly. This is Hanifaro Bay and I just saw with the manta rays. There were so many of them. It was incredible. I just got back, took a shower and I'm honestly in a bit of state of disbelief that I actually got to swim with the mantas. If you want to do this, um, you need to work with the guys at Maldivers and Malos. A huge shout out to Kate and Dano. Kate especially for teaching me to swim so I could have this amazing experience on my own. And if you want to do this as well, the best time to do it is late May onwards for a couple of months. This is low season for Maldives, but it's actually high season for Batol. So what do you guys think of Malos? Is it the perfect place if you want to come to Maldives? Do let me know in comments and I will see you guys in the next video. I would definitely recommend you check out more of my Maldives video for some more travel inspiration. Until the next video, you have an amazing day ahead.